Hello vlog channel, how we doing? So I realized that we haven't done a vlog over here in a little while, so I figured I would just take you along for today. Today's Thursday. I look like this because I'm about to go work out. Today's gonna be a leg day. It's 10.30, had a good morning, woke up, um, watched the news in bed, and did some work in bed. So I have three, three editing projects to work on for clients today. One of them I finished this morning in bed. Um, the other two shouldn't take me that long. And then I also spent some time working on my outline and my plan for my NaNoWriMo project this morning in bed. I don't know why I just decided to work in bed this morning. But yeah, I've been doing like Preptober stuff to get ready to write my book in November for NaNoWriMo. So I was doing some outlining for that. And I have all of the major beats of the story planned out now. So now we're just fleshing that out. So I feel this like sense of relief after this morning that I finally figured out all of like the big moments because that's obviously the biggest thing. I have a very long to-do list for today. me on my main channel if I could show how I style my bangs so I figured I would just show you and we could do like a little get ready with me here and we can chat not the prettiest background for this first things first I put my moisturizer and my makeup primer on my face before I do my bangs I can't hear because it's over my ears um, that way the product on my forehead has time to like soak in so then it doesn't get into my bangs and make them look greasy you know sometimes I do like my full foundation and stuff before I do my bangs but I have found the absolute key to making my bangs look good is doing them as soon as I get out of the shower as I can without letting them air dry because that's when they start to look funky and even so some days they just don't look good <laughs> my workout was great I did um, a leg day I guess I just wrote it out in my notes before I did it so I'll put that on the screen if you want to see what I did I ended up modifying it and the very last superset I only did one set of because I was dying and it was already like 50 minutes in so I was like this is good enough I used to be so into lifting weights in college and everything and I just kind of got out of it especially with the pandemic now that I can't go to a gym. What used to be easy for me is so hard for me now. So I don't like it as much now because it's so hard for me, but I bet if I like got stronger and got good at it again, I would like it again. I struggled today. I, oh, um, if you care, this is the moisturizer that I use and this is the primer that I use. And then to do my hair, I have a comb and a round brush and then just like a regular brush for my hair. And obviously you're gonna need a blow dryer. And then also I like to use some kind of hair clip. So this looks very cute. Basically you just section your bangs out from the rest of your hair, which if you have a better method for this, let me know because I don't know why it's so hard for me to section my bangs out. This is the struggle every day. But once those are out, I just twist the rest of my hair up with the clip to get it out of the way. But once you have your bangs out, I just cut these like yesterday and already I feel like I need to cut them again. I'm gonna take the round brush and obviously I'm not gonna be able to talk while I do this, but I put it under the bangs, blow them this way. Under the bangs, blow them this way. Take the ends, blow them down. Take the ends, blow them down. And then do the middle section with the round brush a couple of times until they're dry. And that's it. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places makes me laugh. And that's it. I find that actually I don't like the way they look when I first do them, but give them like 30 minutes or so to set and just like chill on my face and then they start to look better. <laughs> anyway, that's how I do it. Pretty easy. I don't put any product in them. I have before. I tried like hairspray. I tried putting other stuff in it and I just like didn't like the way they looked by the end of the day. So I just do that. You guys. Okay, I have so much to talk to you about that I'm feeling overwhelmed because I don't even know where to start. I just warmed up two vegan pigs in a blanket to eat because I'm seven. Oh, okay. Where to start? Okay, it's 12 o'clock. I have a live show tonight with my friend Paige at seven o'clock for me for our podcast. Well, that's unprofessional. It's on Patreon, it's $1 a month. I'll have a link down below if you wanna join us. It's a good time, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I have two more editing client projects that I want to work on today. I got one more signed book order, so we're gonna package that up and go drop that off really quick. 
I think I might film a video today, like a sit down video. I've already checked so many things off and it's only 12 o'clock. I feel amazing. A quick reading update if you care. I'm still reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I was listening to the audiobook while I was getting ready and we're just waiting for the hair to dry now. This is really good. I think I've said that every time I've talked about this in one of my videos. I'm really, really liking it. I have 11 hours of the audiobook left. Uh, it's just really long. I'm like this far and I'm loving it. I also started another book last night. Last night I got myself Kindle Unlimited. You guys, last night was crazy <laughs> because um, I have an Amazon Prime membership so I could get a three month free trial of Kindle Unlimited and I was like, heck yeah. For whatever reason, I feel like I read books faster when they're on my Kindle. I don't know why I always say this is my Kindle. This is an iPad mini. This is not a Kindle. Um, anyway, I got Kindle Unlimited so I started a new book last night and I got to 52%. So I'm reading, I'm trying to pull up the cover for you. I'm reading A Whisper in the Dark, which is the first part of the Charlie Travesty series, or it's a serial, so there's four parts to it, by Jesse Elliott and KJ Sutton, who you may know, another self-published writing duo, and this was about vampires and stuff, so I was like, heck yeah, we gotta read that. And all four parts of their serial were in Kindle Unlimited, so I got myself Kindle Unlimited, and I started that last night and downloaded a bunch of other books as well. And I'm actually really, really enjoying it. Like I said, I'm like halfway through. I was sucked in immediately. I couldn't stop reading, and I'm really, really liking it so far. Would recommend so far. Yesterday, I was also brainstorming all of these video ideas. I feel like, okay, I've been getting a lot of comments on older videos lately, like videos that I forgot I even did. And whenever I get a comment on an old video, I usually go back to like look at the video because I don't really remember what it was like. And I was just like watching younger me. And I was just so happy in those videos and I was having such a good time and I was posting so much content, I was reading so much and I just got sad. I'm planning to make a video towards the end of this month either for this channel or my main channel kind of as like a one month working for myself after I quit my job check-in, kind of how everything's going. So I'll talk more about this in there. But basically I feel like I've been kind of transitioning out of that like nine to five mentality and trying to figure out what schedule works for me now that I only work for myself. Like I'm super happy right now. I don't want to downplay that, but I just, but I also feel like I need to work on more balance in my life and finding time for the things that I love to do again. Like reading like thank you so much if you're a part of my patreon book club because without that i probably wouldn't have read a single published book in the last like four months at least that book club keeps me accountable to read at least one book per month so anyway i was just kind of sitting down sorry if this is like a really bad glare i'm just not realizing that basically i was like sitting down and asking myself okay what do i want the next coming months to look like what things need to change what would make me happier and I just, I want to get back into reading and enjoying reading more and reading for fun and also making more YouTube videos that are fun for me. So anyway, lots of like self-reflection lately is basically what I've been up to. So now I have this whole list of video ideas and I think I might sit down and film one of them today. So I'm gonna sit here and eat and probably pull up some editing client work. I'm sorry, especially if you follow me on Instagram, basically the last 48 hours, I've just been posting nonstop cat content. I am obsessed with them. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm gonna have to wait for my hair to dry anyway, so I'm gonna jump into one of my editing projects, and I don't wanna focus today. We're gonna do the deep focus mode where I can't leave the app. We're gonna plant a scarecrow. Actually, let's do 30 minutes. Get some work done. It's 12.30, one thing at a time. That's what we're doing. Hello! I just filmed a video from here new location. I don't usually film from here unless I'm filming one of my Patreon videos, but I kind of like it. Yeah, it's cute, right? I was making a video about how I outline and plot and prepare my novels before I write them, so I felt like the desk was kind of like a fitting setting, you know? It's now 1.45. I finished um, the second of my editing clients, so now we only have one more left. I'm thinking I might film a second video. I have one for Patreon that I need to film. The problem with this video that I just filmed is um, I mentioned that I'm gonna put these worksheets up on my website so people can download them if they want to use them to help them with brainstorming and plotting and stuff, which I'm going to do but I've never done that through my website before, so I gotta figure out like the logistics of it and I also need to put together the worksheets. <laughs> like I have a messy version that I've been using on my computer, but I want to organize them and make them look nice before other people download them and use them, you know? So I have the video filmed and ready, but now I need to get that done before I can post that. But yeah, while we're already here and set up, I think I'm just gonna film my second self-publishing 101 video 
for Patreon. I already filmed the first one and if we get the second one done I'll have both of those done halfway through the month. That will do wonders for my stress levels. I'm just trying to get everything done before seven before my live show tonight because we all know I'm not gonna do anything after that because Paige and I are gonna like get lit as usual. On to video number two. Second video has been filmed. This one was for the self-publishing thing on Patreon as you can see with all of my random materials. That video I was talking about signed books and selling your books directly through you versus selling through Amazon and stuff and the difference in the royalties and profits you get and stuff like that. I don't know, very niche but I thought maybe it would be an interesting video. Now it's a little after two o'clock. We should get on with the other editing clients and then the only other thing on my to-do list for today aside from the live show tonight is to pack up that signed book order and I just have one more this is the last copy of the anti-virginity pact I'm now sold out. So that should be fast to pack up and stuff and I'm just gonna go drop it off in a mailbox. Also though, before I get back to work, how freaking cute is she? Yeah. You comfy? Yeah. Oh, big stretch. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to disturb you. You're just so cute. Yeah. Oh, big yawn. Hello, it's almost four o'clock. I finished with my last editing client and then I moved on to back to outlining and brainstorming my book and I was having so much fun with it. I have this one scene that I'm just like so excited to write now and I was like adding these little bits of dialogue and stuff that's gonna go in in there. It's nowhere near the beginning of the book. Like I have to wait a while before I get to it, but it's gonna be really fun to write. So anyway, um, cause I have that live show at seven and I feel like I've kind of been going nonstop all day. I think we're gonna take a break and just kind of chill out for a little bit. Until that tonight, Maxine is down here. You know what I'm gonna do for my break? I'm gonna read some of my Kindle Unlimited books on the couch. You guys have no idea how excited I am about being excited about reading again. Cause like I was saying earlier, I was going back through some of my old videos and just looking at like the wrap up videos that I was doing like this time last year. Granted this time last year, I was still like just getting the ball rolling on my freelance services. So I was doing maybe like editing three books in a month was like on the high side for me. Now that's like my minimum. So like I understand why I was reading more then. Obviously it makes sense, but like, I think it was like August of last year. I read like 12 books for fun in a month and now I'm happy if I read one or two, which is okay. Life changes and I always think it's kind of funny when people comment on my videos how I seem different and how my life has changed. I'm like, yeah, I started my channel when I was 19. I'm turning 24 next month. Of course I'm different. Like I hope to God I am. But anyway, I'm just, I'm in the mood to read again and I'm happy about that. So we're just gonna sit here and go back to reading A Whisper in the Dark is what it's called. It's the first Charlie Travesty book. I'm 52% of the way through, so I think I'll probably finish this today because it's only like 100 pages or something. I'll have to let you guys know later if I think the Kindle Unlimited subscription is worth it. So I'm, just, I'm trying it out for the first time. Right now, just when I was like searching for books that I could put in my library, I like a lot of the books that I wanted to read was available in that selection. So you get to borrow 10 books at a time and then it's kind of like a library system. So if you, you can't have more than 10 books in your library at one time, but then if you return one, you can get a new one. So um, I filled up those 10 books very quickly and there were more that I wanted. So plenty of options to choose from. <laughs> Are you ready for the podcast? Every time we do it out here, he comes and sits behind me while we do it. So yeah, I'm just getting the live show set up. We're going live at 7 at 6.30. I finished the book I was reading and just got off of a FaceTime with my mom so I could see my dogs. So I finished part one of the Charlie Travesty serial and I downloaded the second one which is called A Light in the Dusk and I'm now 9% of the way through that one. I've always thought I didn't like the like serial format but I gotta say after like four months of not reading very much, reading like 120 pages and finishing a book, it feels pretty good. So anyway, this is our setup for the night. I've been so bad about drinking like half of these and then leaving them in my fridge so we have two halves of a different flavor for tonight. But anyway, this is where I'm gonna be probably for the rest of the night. I'll probably just go to bed afterwards. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you're all doing well. Leave me a comment down below. Anything you want. What are you currently reading? Are you gonna participate in NaNoWriMo? Those are always the usual questions. What's something good that happened to you today? I actually genuinely love seeing your answers to that. I got exciting news in an email today, which I can't tell you about, unfortunately, but that's cool. I feel like super 
super inspired about my NaNoWriMo project. The brainstorming went so well today. I came up with so many fun scene ideas. I'm so looking forward to this book. It's just like a totally different vibe than the last couple of books I've written. So I think you guys are gonna like it. I'm so excited to write it. Anyway, I gotta get set up. There's links for a ton of stuff down below in the description if you're interested. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. And I'll just see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye. So hit me. So hit me. So hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With